There you go. Whoops. This is John the background of the American Red Cross, and today we're at Buzz and Ned's Barbecue with the man, the legend himself, Buzz the Flay Slayer. And it's summer grilling season, so that means not only backyard barbecues with the family and friends, but it also seems an increase in house fires and injuries that result from grilling. We're here with Buzz himself. Buzz, you're standing in front of the grill. Talk about how you approach the topic of safety. I see right here you have a pair of the longer tongs. Why is it so important to use utensils like this, but also to respect the fire, which I know is really important to you? Yeah, even if you can't see the fire, that grill is burning at about 700 degrees. So it's giving off substantial heat. If you get too close, too often, you're gonna burn yourself. That's why I don't wear gloves, those safety gloves, because uh, with the blessing of the health department, because it's dangerous, <laughs> Uh, when you're around a grill because the, they tend to make you build up uh, moisture in the glove. And if you get here, it takes seconds to superheat that moisture to the point of being able to scald. And as it relates to the homeowner, you know, you want to you make sure that everybody is aware of the dangers that are, happen to be around it. Keep the little kids away. To make sure that all the parts are fit and everything is tight and there are no leaks. Read the manual. <laughs> Always it's read the manual. Reason, right? yeah. It's there for a reason. Some 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 you might think is superfluous and unnecessary. Uh, but it's a it's a good thing. You need to know it. Well as you, you train people every day in the topic of, of people who are new to grilling. Why is safety to you so important? Uh, not only here in the restaurant, but it's something you approach in your own backyard when you're grilling at home. Safety should be second nature to you. You shouldn't really have to, to think. You, sh you should get to the point where you don't have to think about every every minuscule piece. You just automatically do it. Uh, but that takes a long time. So most folks who don't use the grill every day uh, need to be aware of what they need to be doing, what they're not doing, what they should be doing um, to make uh, the uh, grilling experience uh, uneventful, except for the quality of the food that you're producing on your grill. And one thing you've said is that one of the things, the, the secret to great barbecue is attention, care, love. That's also one of the great ways to make sure you're grilling safe. So if you're somebody's watching this or interested in getting into grilling, maybe they've seen you on the, the Food Network going against Bobby Flay, what are some of the best uh, tips you can give them if they're getting into the game? Well, one of the things you want to do is be very, very detail-oriented about your cooking. It's important from the time you go to the grocery store or the big box store, buy your food, what kind of temperature you're keeping it at prior to cooking. Some are more important and critical than others. Um, what are you marinating it in? What are you seasoning it with? What kind of equipment do you have to cook it? Is it good for long-term cooking or is it best for grilling uh, a steak or a hamburger? There's much different equipment. Um, so you really need to find out what kind of equipment you want. Uh, specific and sometimes you know people buy two grills one for long-term smoking one for for a direct what I, we call direct uh, heat and that's for ribs uh, could be for ribs yeah. chicken uh, is, is that is can be done uh, on a uh, on an open grill like this hamburgers steaks hot dogs sausages so many many things that you can do on a grill like this uh, but it's detail. It's detail. Find your. See if you couldn't find my brush. Then <laughs> what kind of detail is that? But uh, well, Buzz, we appreciate you doing this. This is just some of the tips that we have available at RedCross.org as well as on our Red Cross Emergency app to help keep you safe in the kitchen. And as always, check out Buzz and Ned's here in Richmond. Has two locations. One, the iconic one, on the Boulevard, as well as in the near West End. And for information about how you can get involved with the Red Cross and spreading fire safety. 
we have an event on May 5th called Sound the Alarm here in the Capital Area as well as the coast of Virginia. We'll be installing smoke alarms and spreading fire safety in both of those areas. If you'd like to join us as a volunteer, visit soundthealarm.org. And all year, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at VA Red Cross. We have all the tips to help you get ready, VA, and stay safe. Thank you.